to show you a real life video of terminal agitation, which can happen at the end of life. Before you scroll on, hear me out. So I'm a hospice nurse who is trying to change the way we look at death and dying through education. I feel like TV and movies have done us a huge disservice on trying to show us what death and dying looks like and they do a very poor job. Now, terminal agitation does not happen all the time at the end of life, but I still think it's important to show what it looks like when it does. These videos that I get are not my patients. These are from families who are willing participants um, in this series that I'm doing to provide education for the general public. So thank you very much for, to all the families who have participated. I always give huge trigger warnings before I show the video, so don't worry about that. Terminal agitation is something that sometimes happens at the end of life. We do try to figure out why. So are they in pain? Are they constipated? Do they have to urinate? Is something, are their medications getting mixed up? Is something happening that's making them agitated? Once we've ruled out all of the things that may be giving them agitation and then the person is still agitated, that's when we determine, okay, this might be terminal agitation. Sometimes people just need a little bit of medication to kind of calm them down and then they kind of snap out of it. Sometimes people need to be fully medicated until they die, unfortunately. We don't totally know or understand why terminal agitation happens. I do see it more frequently in certain diagnoses and I see it more frequently in younger patients. So it looks like it sounds. Someone's just agitated continuously. They're usually confused and not fully with it, so you can't really reason with them. So trigger warning, here is the video I'm going to show you. I would say out of all the videos I show, this one is more disturbing than others, but please know this person was well cared for and we'll discuss afterwards. So trigger warning, here's the video. So that one's a tough one to watch if you're not used to seeing it, but that's a good example of what terminal agitation can look like. The family said they had taken off of her, her clothes because she was pulling at her clothes continuously. So they decrease stimuli, they're calming her, they're rubbing her. They said the hospice company was really involved and medication had been given and the person did eventually calm down. She did continue to have little episodes of that, which is how terminal agitation can manifest and they continue to medicate appropriately. All very normal, but hard. Thanks for sticking with me and learning.